We're going around the world at this point and we're going to the Arctic and um, we're trying to talk to delegates from across the communion and uh, we have Dave Parsons and Joey Royal with us and um, hey, uh, it's so exciting to see you guys. I, um, I, I saw this release come out from you, a news release, I don't know, a couple of months ago and I thought, oh, I wonder if those guys are coming to GAFCON, I must look them up. <laughs> then I discovered you were. Um, Tell me about the ministry of Jesus and getting people out of their houses when it's so cold. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, go ahead. We travel all the time. Getting out of our houses is no problem. We, the people of the Arctic can live without a house, right? right? They, they know how to survive anywhere. And yet, with everything that they have, they look to Jesus Christ. They've always, and so we, we are a people that look to God to help us in all circumstances. So the house, yeah, we could use more houses though. No, well, I was just meaning when it's cold and rainy, people in Australia stay home. <laughs> no, 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 not here. No, no, people are out all the time. Right. Yep. <laughs> not so much of a factor for you guys. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you have to go to the store, right? Yeah. And so uh, in the north, just like people in the south, we have that bread and water. Well, this is the Bible. Yeah. And the word of God, and the word of God is the bread, and it is the and it is the water, right? Jesus is the the way, the truth, and the life, and so that's what people. So where wouldn't you go to feed yourself? Yeah. Right. Now, what does the ministry of Jesus across the Arctic look like? Um, I mean, it's a it's a whole blank canvas for me. Well, just a little background on our diocese. It's a million and a half square miles right. in the Canadian Arctic. Yep. Not a lot of roads, yep. so we fly everywhere. Sounds like Western Australia to well, me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, in, in many places... You fly everywhere. Well, we have to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, back in the old days, they took dog sleds, though. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, uh, parish ministry is alive and well in the Arctic. So our clergy take care of pastorally every single person in a geographical boundary, in a community, right. and sometimes in other communities. Right. So we parish ministry is, is alive and well. We're interested in uh, people. People are interested in people. And so ministry, uh, everybody looks to the church. We're more like a community church. So it isn't yeah. necessary that we're trying to promote ang Anglicanism. We're trying to help people to realize the hope and the life that they yep. that they have in Jesus Christ so yep. that that's we're different thinking people than all over the world um, and so you know people from uh, the islands find to go down somewhere south like in the 68th parallel uh, too far south I'm now in Yellowknife that's very south but uh, so it isn't those perspectives like everywhere in the world wherever you are uh, you live and uh, you enjoy creation. True in Australia? I mean, I can't understand Australia, but uh, I know you speak English, but I don't know the dialect. Yeah. We have many different dialects, yeah. and one of the things, we need the dialect of the Word of God. Yeah. So the people of the Arctic, for over a hundred years, Inuit, Gwich'in, Denny people have been sharing the Gospel. This is not a new thing. So they want the Bible in their own language. Mm, yeah. And that's what they do. They speak and share in the different dialects yeah, yeah. to be able to give hope and encouragement to one another. Yeah. Now, how have these complexities of revisionism affected you guys and the ministry that you're doing? The effectiveness of what? Revisionism and the issues in the wider Anglican communion. It's a giant distraction that we are determined to not let hinder our mission. Our mission is to proclaim the gospel, to enable all our people to, to live out their mission. God's mission in the communities. So this revisionism, revisionism stuff in the south, big distraction. We continually say, don't get derailed, stay on track. So, okay, if you're coming to me with a, a mission of revision, right? Or something else, look, let me show you something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we just I like had, you. We, we just had people uh, from already Quebec charter four aircraft to have a Bible conference. Yeah. So uh, they just... Always, and we didn't organize know, that. Right. People organized that locally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like... Uh, if you want to just starve to death, uh, go ahead. But that's not us. We need to eat. We, we know what we need. Right? It's been great to talk to you Likewise, guys. Likewise. Uh, thanks bless. very much yeah, for coming God in. Bless. Thank you. <laughs> God That's been you. terrific. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the offer. That's been terrific. Okay. I look forward to catching up around the conference. Yeah. yeah.